Good afternoon. As many of you know, Faisal Shahzad was arrested late last night in connection with his alleged role in the attempted car bombing in Times Square last Saturday. Shahzad, a naturalized United States citizen born in Pakistan, is in federal custody today. He has been and continues to be questioned by federal agents. As a result of those communications, Shahzad has provided useful information to authorities. We anticipate charging him with an act of terrorism transcending national borders, attempted use of a weapon of mass destruction, use of a destructive device during the commission of another crime, as well as assorted explosives charges. Now, I want to emphasize that this investigation is ongoing, and we continue to pursue a number of leads as we gather useful intelligence related to the terrorist attack. Based on what we know so far, it is clear that this was a terrorist plot aimed at murdering Americans in one of the busiest, busiest places in our country. We believe that this suspected terrorist fashioned a bomb from rudimentary ingredients, placed it in a rusty SUV, and drove it into Times Square with the intent to kill as many innocent tourists and theatergoers as possible. Now, make mistake. No, make no mistake, although this car bomb failed to properly detonate, this plot was a very serious attempt. If successful, it could have resulted in a lethal terrorist attack causing death and destruction in the heart of New York City. It is a stark reminder of the reality that we face today in this country, the reality that there is a constant threat from those who wish to do us harm simply because of our way of life. There are organized terrorist networks that are targeting us. There are lone terrorists here at home and abroad who are targeting us. As months, even years go by without a successful terrorist attack, the most dangerous lesson that we can draw is a false impression that this threat no longer exists. It does, and the Department of Justice and our partners in the national security community have no higher priority than disrupting those attempts and bringing those who plot them to justice. In this case, that is exactly what the dedicated agents and prosecutors from the department and various law enforcement agencies have achieved through exemplary investigative efforts. Over the last two days, men and women from the FBI, the department's National Security Division, and U.S. Attorney's offices worked with NYPD, DHS, and state and local partners to doggedly track the evidence in this case. The quick action from FBI agents was critical to alerting Customs and Border Patrol agents who ultimately arrested him last night at JFK Airport as he was attempting to flee the country. FBI agents have been able to glean additional evidence from searching Shazad's car and home, and they continue to work with their state and local counterparts in New York, Connecticut, and other jurisdictions to gather evidence and intelligence related to this case. We are also coordinating with other members of the President's national security team to ensure that we use every resource available to bring everyone responsible to justice. Now, these agents and prosecutors are the backbone of our national security efforts, many of them doing their jobs outside the spotlight of the media. I want to commend them for their results in this case and their unwavering commitment to their jobs. We owe them our gratitude and our respect. Finally, I want to take this opportunity to remind all Americans how important it is to remain vigilant. The SUV in Times Square was first noted by an alert bystander who reported it to authorities. By being aware of his surroundings and by thinking quickly, he helped save lives and thwarted a potentially devastating attack. As, al as always, anyone who notices any suspicious activity should report it to the appropriate law enforcement agencies. Now, I'd like to turn it over to Secretary Napolitano. Well, thank you, Attorney General Holder. Uh, as you know, late last night, U.S. Customs and Border Patrol agents at New York's JFK Airport apprehended and detained Faisal Shahzad, a naturalized United States citizen, in connection with Saturday night's failed bombing attempt in Times Square. Due to the vigilance of the CBP officers working with all of our law enforcement partners and relying on enhanced DHS security measures, CBP was able to quickly identify, apprehend the suspect. 
I want to express my gratitude to all of the federal, state, local law enforcement personnel whose cooperation and hard work on this case led to the swift identification and apprehension of Shazad. This was a great team effort, and the law enforcement work in this case was truly exemplary. Uh, in particular, I'd like to thank the dedicated men and women of the Department of Homeland Security whose work on the case was instrumental in apprehending this suspect. Customs and Border Protection successfully apprehended the suspect after its agents and analysts had been tracking outbound flights for a potential suspect for the past three days. Immigration and Customs Enforcement agents served an important role in the Joint Terrorism Task Force in New York uh, as the lead law enforcement agency on the international aspects of the investigation, interviewing witnesses and running down leads. The Transportation Security Administration was conducting targeted operations at regional and international airports designed to identify and apprehend a potential suspect. I'd also like to give special thanks to the alert citizens in New York City, whose crucial tips helped authorities prevent what could have been a deadly explosion. What happened on Saturday shows the critical role that the American people play in the security of our country. If anybody ever had any doubt about it, this failed bombing attempt clearly shows the value of the saying, if you see something, say something. Thank you, and now I'd like to turn it over to Assistant Director John Pistol. Thank you, Secretary, and good afternoon. I want to also commend the men and women who have worked around the clock, literally, since Saturday to find those responsible for what could have been a deadly attack. A host of agencies, departments, and individuals working together toward a single goal. Our collective success unraveling this plot comes down to using traditional law enforcement techniques such as federal court authorized search warrants along with intelligence-based authorities to maximize our evidence and intelligence gathering. Using these techniques, we were collectively able to identify Mr. Shazad as a person who purchased the 1993 Pathfinder depicted in the back of the room. CBP identified his extensive overseas travel, which led to expanded investigative steps, enabling us to fully identify, then locate, and eventually arrest Shazad. A key step in this process occurred yesterday when Shazad was placed on the no-fly list, and as the Secretary mentioned, CBP did an outstanding job identifying him as a person on the JFK flight last night. Joint Terrorism Task Force agents and officers from NYPD interviewed Mr. Shazad last night and early this morning under the public safety exception to the Miranda rule. He was, as the Attorney General noted, cooperative and provided valuable intelligence and evidence. He was eventually transported to another location, Mirandized, and continued talking. So we in the FBI, with our law enforcement and intelligence partners here at home and around the world, continue to investigate this matter. We are conducting a forensic examination of all evidence collected by NYPD at the scene. Much of this evidence has been transferred to the FBI laboratory in Quantico, Virginia, so that we can test the individual chemical composition of the materiel in the explosive device. We also want to test the potential impact of the device to ascertain what would have happened had it worked as intended. And we're, of course, working with our law enforcement and intelligence partners to uncover all possible ties this particular individual has or may have had to radical extremism or terrorist organizations, both at home and overseas. And we're pursuing every lead in that regard. And as, as, as always, and as always, we are seeking out those who would orchestrate these kind of attacks. Prevention will continue to be our end game. So I, too, would like to add our thanks to the vigilant citizens, like the vendors, who first noticed the suspicious vehicle. This investigation, like others we've handled in the past year, once again reminds us that our work is not finished, and we'll continue to work with our partners and our citizens across the country to find and stop those who would do us harm. Thank you. I'll turn it over to Commissioner Kelly. 